Hi, I want to show you how you can temporarily close your laptop lid without going to standby using Ubuntu Linux. So let me first show you what the result will be. Once done here, you will see this indicator icon. And all it does is to tell you if you can safely close your laptop lid without having the laptop going to, into standby. Why is that useful? Well, for example, you start listening to music and or a video um, and all you want is basically to just switch off the lid, you know, just close the lid, um, yet still being able to listen to your audio music, whatever. Uh, you just don't need to see the screen. And in order to conserve energy, you want to close your lid. Unfortunately, by default, if you switch or if you close your lid on Ubuntu what will happen is that the laptop turns into standby that's a quite useful feature um, it's just not always intended sometimes you want to temporarily close your lid without having the laptop do any action right so as said once we're done here you will see this indicator icon if it's gray it tells you well if you close your lid the laptop will go into standby. Now I will change the state and it tells me lid closes with no action and now the indicator icon is green. So if I now close the lid nothing will happen. That's exactly what I want. Whenever I'm done here you know I want to revert this behavior so I use my custom keyboard shortcut and now it tells me suspend will be activated when it closes. So now everything is back as normal. Right, what to do? You open this link. I will put it uh, into the notes for the video, into the description. This website, this page, gives you the following script. What you do is you copy this, the code of this script, right, and then Oh, actually, sorry, it's not here, it's here. You copy the entire script, right, from the top to the bottom, copy it, and you put it into a file in home bin, right? So you create the folder bin, and here you create the file show showState.py, right? So I did that already, show state py. Yeah, if you open it with your editor, you will see that it contains exactly the code. Good, excellent. Now, what next? You can always run this script manually, right? You go to your terminal or you double click here, it should run. What I want is to have this script and thus the indicator run by default whenever I start my machine and whenever I press a keyboard shortcut. So on my laptop, a ThinkPad X230, I have a button here, a physical button. And whenever I press this button, um, the script is being run. So how did I do that? I went to my keyboard settings and here under shortcuts, I created a new custom shortcut called toggle lit standby and assigned it to the button which is called launch one right so what does it do I named it toggle lit standby and the comment it runs is python 3 and then the location the path to that script so home or shiro bin toggle lit py right um, good so here we're done now I want that to run too on startup so I go to startup applications and I create a new entry by adding laptop lid indicator right what does it do it runs this comment after 15 seconds Python 3 home or shiro bin show state I'm just realizing now you need 
two different um, scripts. You have one called show state, and as you've seen before, this one is toggle lit. So one actually just provides the indicator, and the other one um, actually switches it. So here we go again. This, right? This code here from bottom to top is the toggle lit py. The other one is called show state. So please make sure, I, I did the mistake before, sorry. Please make sure you create these two files with exactly this content in your bin folder and then do this, you know, do the steps I showed before, basically assigning, if you want, a custom keyboard shortcut and running it on startup. For the custom sh keyboard shortcut, you use toggle lit and for the startup application with your lab indicator, so this indicator that you want to run on startup, you use show state py. I'll make sure to add all these information to the video description. If you have any questions about that, please let me know and I will help you in the comments, right? Thank you.